Alright guys, welcome to this video, present perfect plus uh, conjunctions, or to be honest, conjunctions plus present perfect. Now this is quite a simple rule, but I'm actually going to include present simple as well, because there is a difference, and many grammar books don't often explain this, only a few do. But it's a very important rule to understand, which really perfects your English and makes you sound a bit more natural. So let's have a look. We know what conjunctions are, there are these small annoying words like if, when, until, as soon as, before, etc, etc, etc. There's a huge list of them in all your textbooks. Now, I'm going to have this sentence here. I'll phone you, so you often use a future in the first part of the clause. I can say, I'll phone you, I'm going to phone you, doesn't matter which. Plus conjunction, when, and I say, I have got home, present perfect. But notice, I've also got a present simple, when I get home. So the question is, what is the difference? Is there a difference? Absolutely. Um, now the difference isn't huge. If you say the present perfect or the past simple, no one's going to correct you. Not always, but you kind of have the choice of which one to choose. So it doesn't, you can't really make a big mistake with this. But let's have a look at the difference. When we say I'll phone you when I, uh, let's say when I get home, let's start with the present simple. It basically means at the same time. So the moment I get home, I will phone you, literally simultaneously. But when we have the present perfect, it actually means that the action is complete. So if I say, I'll phone you when I have got home. So I'll phone you when I get in, maybe I'll take my trousers and pants off, have a cigarette, have some dinner. I've got home, so now I'm going to phone you. So this, what's quite interesting about this, because we know that present perfect is not completed action, it's something that starts in the past, continues to the present, has a result now. This is the only time in English when the present perfect basically shows completion. Um, it's quite an interesting rule to be honest, so it's one of those small exceptions that you need to learn. But let's have a look at some examples here and compare the context with the present perfect or the uh, uh, present simple. So for example, I'll contact you when I've found him or I'll contact you when I find him. It's exactly the same as this, you can say both, it doesn't matter. So I'll contact you when I found him. So. I've found him, maybe I said, hello, how are you? Now I'll contact you. Uh, if I said, I'll contact you when I find him, so I see him at the same time, maybe I haven't spoken to him, I'll phone you. So the slight difference in time, again, simultaneous, completion. Let's have a look at this one. We'll have dinner as soon as we've done or do our homework. Now, is, can, we, can it be the same as the example above where we can choose both? Let's have a look. So if we say, we'll have dinner as soon as we've done our homework, that means we've kind of completed it. We complete dinner, or sorry, complete homework, and then we'll go and have dinner. But imagine if we say, we'll have dinner as soon as uh, we do our homework. That's a bit strange, because it's like, if it's simultaneous, you start doing your homework, and then you have dinner at the same time. So really, in this example, the present perfect would be more suitable. So you complete your homework and then you go and have dinner. So again, sometimes it does actually matter which one you choose. So you have to think about the context. And the third one, John won't help me until I have paid him, or John, John won't help me until I pay him. Again, we can say both is the same as this. So once I have paid him, uh, again, once is another conjunction. So once I have paid him, the money transfer is complete, then he will help me. Um, or, he won't help me until I pay him, so the moment I hand over the money in that sort of process, simultaneously, he will decide to help me. So as you can see, the difference is quite small, but in some contexts it's important to get it right. And it's a very, very useful rule to know in English. If you're going to do FCE, especially at CAE and CCPE, you've got to know this. It's important to get it right. So guys, I hope that was useful. Please leave some comments below. Maybe even write some of your own examples that I can look at and check. It would be fantastic. So guys, have a very nice day, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.